there is a little stint here, loosely associating with a small number of redneck stints. So I'm going to try and see if I can show it to you. The birds seem to be very flighty, so it might take me a while to pin this one down. See what we can do. See a long toad stint out there, just a single one. The bird doesn't seem to be here at the moment, but um, they are coming and going. And generally speaking, stints can be quite loyal to one patch. Once they've found an area they like, they'll tend to come back to it even if they get pushed off. So I'm just going to hang around for a while and just see if this bird comes back. I found the stint, the little stint again. It wasn't, uh, it didn't come back to the pond where I was originally looking. So I've gone next door and uh, found it feeding in amongst the redneck stints. The way I pick it out is much more by structure and shape than plumage, because the plumage at this time can be extremely variable. So the thing that really draws my attention to this bird, first of all, is the uh, long, thin legs. Um, and extremely rapid feeding action, much more rapid than the accompanying redneck stints. Its body is slightly rounder than the redneck stints, more like a football than a rugby ball. And the bill is relatively fine tipped. One of the important things to do when, you're, when you think you've got a, an unusual weight, uh, wader is to try to age it. And uh, in this case, it's, uh, you can see its wing coverts are extremely worn and the uh, scapular feathers are rather fresh. And so the contrast between the very fresh scapulars and the extremely worn coverts uh, leads me to believe this is probably a second calendar year bird that is still retaining its uh, one-year-old juvenile wing coverts which are worn so extremely that it's hard to find any distinctive pattern on them and uh, it has begun a body molt into uh, what will be eventually adult non-breeding plumage. What this means is that there's very little to go on in terms of plumage. Yes, it's true that this bird has a faint brownish breast band compared to the other redneck stints that's mainly because it's in a different plumage to them. So whereas we're looking at mostly uh, 
uh, either first non-breeding or adult non-breeding redneck stints that have fully completed their molt. Uh, this bird has not yet completed its molt and it's uh, kind of in, in between uh, what would be second summer or second breeding plumage and adult non-breeding plumage. So this particular bird has a faint breast band but it's not uh, a, dis a diagnostic feature. scapulars are relatively dark centered they have quite clear dark triangular marks um, and on average little stints in non-breeding plumage adult non-breeding plumage have darker centered scapulars than redneck stints but again that's an average thing it's not an absolute diagnostic feature so with this bird and with many little stints um, really we, we arrive at the identification by a combination of looking at shape structure behavior and plumage it's not just one or two uh, diagnostic features and it's certainly not the color and it's not in this case not the pattern of any particular group of feathers